Hi, and welcome back to Marine Parts TV. Today, we're looking at diagnostic systems, specifically gel test by Kojali, a system designed to run on jet skis, outboards, stern drives and inboards, both petrol and diesel. Also, it has a comprehensive coverage of marine gen sets. As I stated previously, gel test can connect to pretty much any marine engine, be it jet ski, outboard or inboard diesel or petrol engines. Right now I'm here with the Yamaha FX160 Cruiser and we're about to connect to this. First thing we do is to go to the connection screen, identify the correct engine we've got and then to the connection harness menu. This identifies the harnesses we require and in this case it's a JDC 600 and a JDC 601M. These two connect directly to the jet ski. You'll see in the image here, gel test provides you with a reference image of where it connects into the jet ski itself. So once we've connected the correct harnesses to the jet ski itself, we then hit the connect button. You'll notice there's a couple of prompts that pop up. One of them says you must push the start button on the jet ski itself to initiate the engine ignition system. I'll do this now and we'll connect to the engine. So once we're connected to the ski, we've activated the ignition system, we now enter into the engine menu. This allows us access for reading error codes and identifying any faults that are persistent or present within the engine ECM. The same connection rules apply, be it a jet ski, outboard, inboard petrol or diesel, or power generation system. So just to run through this again, I've moved to another engine package. This is a Volvo D4 series engine, and let's follow this process through now. As you can see here, same with the jet ski, once I've connected to the engine, I can access any of the error codes in the engine, diagnose exactly what it is, and make a quick, timely, cost-effective repair. So let's get a bit further into what gel test can do. So now I'm with the Mercury 115CT 4-stroke. We're going to jump in, connect to the engine, same process as before, and have a look at some errors that are present in this engine. As you can see, we've entered the fault code screen and we can see there's an IAC valve fault present. IAC valve is idle air control valve. From here, we can click into the information tab screen. This takes us through to the system technical data area. Let's scroll down, select our component, in this case the idle air control valve, and we click into the wiring diagram screen. Click on the component, it then gives us a visual reference of the idle air control valve, its location on the engine, any torque specifications, and also another help menu below. In this case, it asks us to cycle through the idle air control valve through the actuate components function of the system. So let's go there and take a look. To access this, we return to the diagnostic function menu, to the actuate components screen, we select our idle air control valve, we make sure we meet all the required conditions, key on, engine off, Let's run this test. We replaced the IAC valve, it proved to be faulty, and now we enter the error clearance screen to remove the stored data from the engine's ECM. The error code is cleared, so let's go and run this engine up and look at some live data and make sure this is performing as exactly as it should do. To test this engine properly, we removed the Mercury standard propeller and installed an appropriate test prop. This allows us to run the engine up to wide open throttle across all RPM bands under full load. Now we've got the engine set up in the tank, let's get some live data from this engine. To access this, we go to the measurements selection screen. From here, we can select what systems we want to look at. In this case, I'm going to select all. From here, we go to the gauge function, this then displays across six screens all the sensor readings, RPM, temperature, etc. available from this engine PCM. The live data can also be displayed in graph format. From the system checks menu, we can drop cylinders either by cutting spark or fuel. The displays are graphed out for easy identification of fault. So this repair is completed. To give the customer some information and value from the system, we generate a uh, gel test engine data report, which goes through all the test procedures we've done, tells the customer exactly what we've replaced, and shows his engine is running properly with all the errors removed. 
As well as the diagnostic functions, we can also look at some engine run history. This is recorded by gel test in 1500 RPM increments and gives us the run time at those RPM increments. It gives us total engine hours and gives us a good picture of the life of this engine. From here, we can start to look at other testing functions, actuate components, let's fire fuel injectors, ignition systems, all sorts of different components can be run up and tested to ensure they're operating as per the manufacturer's specifications. For even deeper diagnostics, we have a data recording function. So you can set this up, go and take the engine for a run. When a fault's present, you can go back and play back that engine ECM data and you can find what sensor is causing this fault to take place. Again, giving you quick, cost-effective diagnostics and repairs. In summary, GelTest is a true multi-brand engine diagnostic system for all marine engines. Outboards, stern drives, jet skis, power generation systems, it covers the lot. Simple, cost-effective, time-saving. For more information, contact one of the parts team members at Prompt Parts, 263-6000 or promptparts.co.nz.